RCBD in a factorial design using star software. First, what is this factorial experiment and what is the advantage and disadvantage of using this design? Factorial experiment is designed to handle simultaneously two or more variable compared to a single factor experiment. Another, the treatment consists of all possible combination of the selected levels in two or more factors. The good thing in using factorial experiment is we can simultaneously examine the several factors within one experiment. This experiment also, our type of experiment, provides valuable information on the interaction and it's without question more informative than a single factor experiment. In this experiment, our interest is on the main effects of both factors and the interaction effects among different factors. For example, experiment involving two factors such as variety as our factor A with two levels and nitrogen as factor B with two levels. The question is, how can we able to get the total number of treatment combination? It's just simple. Take note that it is the product of the level of each factor. In our example, in a factor A, we have two levels, and in a factor B, we have two levels also. It means we will have four treatment combination. This type of experiment or the factorial experiment can be done also or can be performed in a CRD and RCBD design. The factorial experiment has a disadvantage also or what we call demerits. First is when the number of factors or level of factors are both increased, the number of treatment combination is also increased. Consequently, block size increases. If the block size increases, it may be difficult to maintain homogeneity of the experimental material. That's why this will lead to increase in experimental error and loss of precision in the experiment. Another thing is the layout of the factorial experiment is comparatively difficult than a simple experiment. In addition, all treatment combination are to be included for the experimental irrespective of its importance and hence this result in wastage of experimental material and time. Last thing is statistical procedure and calculation of a factorial experiment are more complicated than using single factor experiment. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze CRD and RCBD in a factorial experiment using STAR software. Now, let's First, start. I will show you how to analyze CRD in factorial. And after this, I will show you how to analyze RCBD also. First thing you need to do is to open your STAR program or STAR software. You need to open your STAR program and need to import your data file in the STAR program, STAR software. Okay, in this presentation, I already Im import my data in the STAR software. And this is my data is, okay, just click it. In this type of factorial experiment, I will gonna do as CRD in a factorial ex experiment. I have two factor, the variety and the nitrogen. The factor A is the variety and the factor B is the nitrogen and it is replicated three times. This is in the CRD design. First, you will do is go to analyze, click analyze, and there are a lot of choices there. There are descriptive statistics, t-test, test on proportion, chi-square, analysis of variance, correlation, regression, non-parametric test, fit distribution, and multivariate analysis. However, we will just go to analysis of variance. And 
just click the CRD or the completely randomized designs. There are also a lot of choices there. There are CRD, RCVT, Latin Square, and two to three more factor experiment. And our interest is on the complete randomized design. Just click. Okay. We have the yield. Take note that our response variable is our parameter, that is the yield. Add your uh, add your data or data parameter on the response variable. Max, add the nitrogen, the variety, nitrogen and replication will be set as factor. Uh, the variety must be added to treatments. Fact, uh, nitrogen will be added to variety. And take note that we have two factors because or two treatments the factor a and factor b must be uh put uh the variety and nitrogen must be put inside on the treatment box okay next is just click okay and there you have it you have a result or a NOVA table for the yield. This is the result or analysis of variance in a complete randomized design. We have, you can see in the summary of information, we have factor, the variety, and the nitrogen. The number of levels are 2, 2. Okay. Below the summary of information, that is the ANOVA table for yield. You can see that the variety, the, the nitrogen, and the interaction of the variety and the nitrogen. And on the variety, it is highly significant. The nitrogen is not significant. And the interaction effect is, is what is this? Not significant. The CV, where the yield is 2.3% standard error here, and we have the, what is this, the superscript or com mean comparison of each variety, okay? That is how to analyze uh, CRD in factorial. Now, let's proceed on how to analyze RCBD in factorial experiment. Okay, again, what I'm going to do is import your data here in the statistic or star software. Then, click, go to analyze. Analysis of variance and click the randomized complete block design. Your yield must be your response variable. Variety must be your uh, treatment. Nitrogen must another your treatment. And the difference between CRD and RCBD, there is a block or replication. We need to add the replication. Okay. This is the ANOVA table for the or analysis result for the yield in RCBD in factorial design. And take note, the difference in ANOVA table of the CRD and RCBD is the presence of the replication. Replication is present in RCBD and, and in CRD replication is not included in ANOVA table of CRD. Okay, based on the analysis of variety, based on ANOVA table, it shows that the variety shows a significant difference among treatments. Then, you need to undergo post-hoc analysis. The question is, how to do a post-hoc analysis? Okay, just click here. Okay then undergo post-hoc 
okay what is uh, responsible with significant effect effects or is yield add to post of test then there are a lot of mean comparison you will gonna use or you can choose only one or two or three or you can choose all to undergo analysis and yield but mostly uh, we will use the two keys and a significance different test just click the and two keys and a significant significant difference test then click ok just click ok and there you have it you have a pairwise mean comparison of variety and it shows that mm, variety 2 must has a higher yield compared to variety 1 then that's it and that's it on how to analyze RCBD and CRD in a factorial experimental design. As a recap, as a recap, open a star program, import your data file to star, then open your, uh, what is this? Open your data file, analyze, go to analyze, analysis of variance, comp CRD, yield must be in response variable, Add the night variety and nitrogen on the treatments. Do not include the replication and the CRD design. Just click OK. And there you have it. You have the analysis of variance in complete randomized design in a factorial experiment. Okay? Everything you need is there. That's it. Then, now on how to analyze the RCBD in a factorial design, do the same, just import your data file on the star, go to analyze, analysis of bar, no, I just, op just open first, then go to analyze, analysis of variance, uh, RCBD, the yield must be the response variable, variable. the variety in nitrogen must be added to the treatment go added to treatment the replication is added to block and okay there you have it there you have it okay and if there if there is a significant difference on your base on another another table just click this post hoc uh, what is there is Click the response variable with significant effects. Add to, add to post test. This is the mean comparison you will use to undergo for the yield. In this presentation, I will just use Sukis and significance test. Just click OK. Click OK. And click this. The pairwise output. And there you have it. The two keys and a significant difference. And that's it. The star will generate the result on pairwise mean comparison for variety. And it will show you where is the significance between one variety to another. Okay? That's it. Okay. I hope you like it. I hope you like it and you learn. I hope you like it and you learned something. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my channel. Thank you.